Hey, good morning. It's good to be with you this morning for the devotion. And I'm looking at Psalm 19, which is found in our uh, disciplines uh, daily study. Psalm 19 is one of my favorite psalms. I've, I wrote it down in a poem at one point, and it begins kind of like this in my poem anyway. God the rock upon which I stand, creator of all sea and land, lead me by thy sure command. Exalted sings heaven's band. Redeem me, Lord, forgive my sin. My desire is righteousness within. Nature's laws bid earth revolve. To live in you is my firm resolve. Well, as I look at it, it it's just a beautiful psalm. It, it ends with those great words, The Lord is my rock and my redeemer. I, I love to think on that, but as we look through the psalm itself, it breaks down into several different parts. The first six verses, and I'm going to read a little bit to you from the message translation, it's talking about God's creation. God's glory is on tour in the skies. God's craft on exhibition across the horizon. Madam Day holds class every morning. Professor Knight lectures each evening. When, when you hear those words, I know that as you see the, the beautiful winter sunsets and sunrises, that we always remember that if nothing else screams out that God is in the heavens, it is certainly uh, the beauty of his creation. And then after that section, verses 1 through 6, it goes in to verses 7 through 10, talking about the value of the law. Uh, and it says the revelation of God is whole and pulls our lives together. As we understand God's precepts, God's ways, God's laws, and God's commands, it pulls us together so that we can live more fully. And it's incomparable how much happier and more joyous we are when we have God's law. And then in verses 11 through 13, it talks about the need of humanity for divine forgiveness. It says, there's more. God's word warns us of danger and directs us to hidden treasure. Otherwise, how would we find our way? Uh, and it's true. We can't find our way without God. There is a divine need for his forgiveness and his protection. And then it ends again in those beautiful words. In the NIV, it says, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. The message says, these are the words in my mouth. These are what I chew on and pray. Accept them when I place them on the morning altar. O oh God, my altar rock. God, priest of my altar. I hope today that as we look around us, we certainly see all that God has done. We certainly understand the value of what he leads and teaches us through his law and his commands. And certainly each of us know the need of him to give us forgiveness and protection. May God be your rock and your redeemer today. God bless you.